It's not like I didn't want to be the monster. It's because the game itself just felt so incredibly one-sided and unfair. Heroes and Monsters is just a game of pretend based on kids' TV shows. Everyone's free to choose what role they play. But me, I was friendless, always with a dark cloud above. Everyone knew who the hero was going to be. I didn't stand a chance in hell. Naturally, there was no scenario where the monster would ever win. I was always the loser. The popular kid always beats up the little guy that no one likes. That's just the way the world works. Screw justice. And screw evil too. I'm gonna be killed simply because that's what everyone else wants? It's not fair. I can't stand it. it pisses me off. All I want is to make them understand. I'm here to fight for underdogs everywhere. Good. Evil. I reject them both. Like his biggest fan! I'll introduce you for a kiss on the cheek. I don't know, that seems kind of fishy. You really, really mean it. Introduce him to me too. I'd be happy to put a kiss on your cheek. <laughs>
probably has to do with Garo. Garo? The guy who was kicked out of our dojo? What'd he do? I see. So you have not heard, I take it. Garo is now known as a criminal. He has been added to the association's wanted list as a violent monster. Bang himself has volunteered to take him down. A monster? Garo? No way! How is he still standing? Hey, listen up! You got lucky, freak! Who in the hell is this guy? Is he even human? His moves reflect his opponent's power back at double strength. Their target pressure points and joints, any weaknesses. Where he strikes, you suffer a loss of physical function. Most monsters rely on their immense strength and size, which they unleash with extreme violence. But Garo is different. His techniques are devised for breaking humans. In other words, he's built for the sole purpose of defeating heroes. <laughs> Oh, sure. The best time. 